going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with a trading day tier level 18 guide for all of you uh in today's video we're gonna be walking through two different ways to attack this um in terms of using the teams we're gonna be doing one without super scroll and we'll also be doing one super scroll and you know obviously goes without saying it's much easier if you have super scroll on the team but having said that i understand that most folks may not have them or are still working on dark dimension six so guys let's get right to it i'll show you the team here and the playthrough so here we go. This is a teamwork that worked for myself because many of these characters I brought into Dark Dimension 6, but as well, um, having future relevant meta. Um, only exception is probably Photon, just because she is falling off with the Secret Defenders team and she's not really utilized in Arena. But having said that, guys, Vow is going to be very, very important because it gives us a fighting chance here to get the three stars, especially being able to bring back our fallen allies. Kang doing devastating damage. Nova has great support. And then as well, we have Kestro and Photon doing some supportive capabilities, whether it's passive damage or protecting uh, the team with their, their support, like blood, the blinds that we have from Photon. So really important that all these characters play their role. Having said that, let me show you now the gameplay. So even at the very beginning, it's already a slugfest. Vulture is going to be able to get his abilities off, which re uh, reduces our turn meter. Um, I think it's important to use Kang's special on that left side there to apply slow, especially the targets um, being uh, Rogue and Gambit. They're going to be doing a lot of work if we don't do anything about them. So Fulton, having that blind on that left side on Gambit especially is huge. Then we activate Vow's special down the middle there. So it is controlling Rogue, you know, preventing them from using abilities. Typically, you probably won't land the ability block on Doc Ock. Uh, that would be very nice if you can, just because it prevents him from using his uh, special summon, which wastes our, uh, our Kestrel charge, unfortunately. But... Um, um, that you can see why it's so important to have that photon blind in the left because gambit's already pinged a few times but it hasn't touched us yet because of the blinds finally gambit gets a go but you know uh he still had the blind so um no damage uh, uh whatsoever to our team which is absolutely huge but now he's definitely a pain point that we have to deal with especially um with this team um, now no longer being blinded so we go ahead we cleanse all of the taunt from colossus and I am trying to target a rogue as much as possible because she has exposure, which gives Val energy. But as well, um, you know, we don't want her using her abilities uh, after this. So it's going to spawn the next wave here when three out of 19 of the enemies are taken care of. One of them includes Green Goblin Classic and a Craven. The Green Goblin Classic guys need to be prioritized in this wave because of the fact that there's more superior six characters coming after this wave. So super super important to focus on them especially gambit and and uh the green goblin classic on that left side you can see how tanky he is so we, we make no mistake here we activate nova special that we've saved um from the very beginning here and we are going to target that left side now craven can be dealt with in a bit just because thankfully he is um squishier but this green goblin classic is just an absolute tank here so um you know our photon unfortunately goes down she is the squishiest member of our team but that's okay. We have to stick with the game plan. Uh, and thankfully, um, Craven uh, does actually land his um, ability. But then uh, our Nova has very high resistance as well. We trigger the, the Nova ultimate there to give us some supportive buffs. And as well as the barrier. Kang's not looking so great. So that's why it's important, guys. We know there's probably going to be a second win coming here. And that's why it's extremely important to have Val's ultimate. Because um, our, enemy, our allies may fall. And that's okay. Because now we can bring them back, right? And, and that's how you can actually... Um, you know, guarantee the three star of this. So I go ahead, I activate Vol's ultimate there just to deal with some really good damage on Craven and this uh, mixture here of the superior six. But Robbie is another good one we need target. So we're focusing on him because he can do some really massive damage against us. Thankfully, taking him down before he even gets to take a turn. That should leave Spider Slayer and Rhino here at the very end. Um, but again, more character spawning. So that's why um, that second wave that comes, you just need to act very, very fast. Spider Slayer will likely get his abilities off, as you see there. Thankfully, he didn't do too much, but um, sometimes he can. Um, the bleeds can take out our, our allies, obviously, right? So we have this other mixture again, um, this set of Gambit and Rogue that's super annoying that we have to deal with now. We have the Pasic Pings. We don't have the blind anymore. So at this point, um, I see that, you know, there's only a couple of key targets in this wave, right? So the Rogue, the Gambit. Phoenix is going to be able to bring back Dark Phoenix just because we lost our charge earlier from the Doc Ock. But thankfully, um, if you take down the key targets like Phoenix, Rogue, and Gambit, there's actually not many damage dealers here. So um, this is the time where you want to be taking down these key targets and then as well building up energy for Val because what's going to happen is likely one of your allies would have fallen by now. And how you can get the three star is Val having the revive and bringing back Photon and that will give us the three star unlock here. 
So Colossus will likely get his taunt. We have to get through him, obviously. But again, um, you know, it's okay if you get attacked by these characters because at the end of the day, the most important thing is getting turn, um, energy and turns for Val. If you can get the exposure off so that way uh, your team and Val is getting more energy, it's going to be huge. So finally, we strip away Colossus. Rhino has a taunt. We cleanse that. And we are now able to use Val's abilities. So I do do that. I activate the special there. Um, not only does that get energy from finishing off the rogue, we apply another exposure on Gambit, which gives us another moment here to actually get energy. So uh, Phoenix is finally taken care of. That was annoying. And then that should just leave these three here. Ideally, Gambit will probably be one of the final members lasting here, but that's okay. Um, landing the exposure is important. Val's ultimate, once again, to finish off the enemies. And uh, we're in a very good, really good position. Photon comes back, hopefully. You know, um, she's not left in a moment where the enemy has a chance attacker. You might have to trust the RNG and luck a little bit, but this is how you can do it, guys, without Super Scroll. Much, much easier, as you guys will see with the second attempt here. But yeah, um, that's how I was able to get it done with this team. And thankfully, they're all part of the meta, which is awesome to see. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two here now with Super Scroll, and it's just so much easier with them. So we start things off here by actually getting the first turn and not Vulture. Uh, and we are going to activate the special here at the very beginning to pull back some turn meter, but as well ability block uh, Rogue, so that way she's not doing too much. And we are going to be doing similar to what we did with the first attempt, which is the special down the middle there, um, blind slow. Uh, but this time we don't have Photon for the blind, so Gambit's going to be getting his abilities off. So definitely a character we want to be focused on uh, at the very beginning. But we're going to try again now with the special from Val, being able to successfully ability block Doc Ock. And that's kind of... That's kind of why, um, you know, having Super Scroll on the team is so big because of the passives that he grants and increasing our focus as well. It's pretty night and day, guys. So as you can see, we're, we're just not having the same issues that we had in the first attempt because of the passive uh, boost from Super Scroll, which is why he's such an amazing character. He just makes all of your team better and better. So unfortunately, we couldn't really get to um obviously gambit but with that uh with that taunt there but we do get a chance to actually use the ultimate from Val earlier and we do land that successfully getting energy but what the player really like about this team with super scroll and Val is the fact that there's two characters uh providing exposure around so it's just twice as fast to get um uh, the exposure energy back to Val, which means she can use her abilities quicker and quicker right so um, at this point then, Gambit's weak, I activate the ultimate from Kang, so this is a little bit of a faster run than the first one, hence why we're able to get this far. Um, we do have the Super Scroll ultimate now, we're going to save that for this uh, Sinister 6, Superior 6 wave here. Um, starting things with the Nova ultimate, but yeah, we're just in a more advantageous position, you just feel like um, the, the playthrough is just more smooth. So we activate with the ultimate there, Super Scroll giving us barrier, but as well causing trauma on this team. Similar story, right? We're uh, finishing off Robbie Riaz that does spawn the last and final wave here. And again, we are gonna have that, um, you know, uh, focus on Gambit just because of how important his role is. But this time guys, we have Kestrel and the charge because Doc Ock was not able to get his special off. So it's pretty important that now when we take down Phoenix here, it's not gonna matter. Dark Phoenix won't have a chance. So already just seeing the night and day difference here. And again, we still have, we have some remnants of this uh, the superior six uh, cluster here, and we are able to actually use Val now to just shut down and uh, just do some additional energy. We didn't use the ability block because we didn't really need it to be honest. Uh, Phoenix goes down, Kestrel's charge is used, but that's what I mean. Like it's just so much smoother and easier. Uh, and this is like my first try with the Super Scroll too. So he just makes such a big difference, uh, <laughs> and especially when you're seeing the uh, trying the difference here with with and without him. And Voltan was great, don't get me wrong, but she was a liability because she can get taken care of so easily. So yeah, now we're looking very very good, guys. So obviously here at the end of the day, um, it's really just about mixing these characters correctly. But uh, thankfully, you can still get the job done without Super Scroll. Obviously, that's going to be the focus here for folks that haven't completed Dark Dimension 6. But just huge the value he brings, right? We go ahead. We're going to use a special down the middle to um, just slow down Rogue here. I missed the ability block, but that's all right. because Just because her HP is quite low already. And yeah, we're essentially just cleaning up now. You need to see how much damage we're doing with this team. And they never even really bring us to low HP, right? Which is absolutely huge. Kang finishing off Rogue there. And basically the same three characters that were left in the first attempt here. Uh, but this time we do have uh, Val's ultimate to finish things off. 
um yeah and with no allies fallen so pretty big guys so easy easy cleanup as you can see night and day difference with super scroll but hopefully this helps you guys a method here with and without them and that way you guys can get through the final tier level here for training day and start building up those materials thank you as always guys do appreciate your time and i will catch you guys in the next one